Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Mega Man 6. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier and the Wii Guy. More Mega Man action. Time 6. Yeah. And we actually get to find the face of Dr. Wily. Yep, here in Dr. Wily's dojo. Yeah, who would have seen that coming? I was totally caught off guard. Yeah. Oh, come on. The, the Brock Lesnar man right here can bash the hard hats. They gotta wait till they peek their head out. Yeah, man. Head sensitive. Helmets are durable. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Fly past freak. everything. This is where you gotta really watch out for the spikes. Ah. Whoa. He did well there. Whoa. Dang. Oh. Here we go. This oh. is where it gets oh. serious. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is what it's all about with Mega Man. Dropping and dropping and avoiding spikes. Yeah. I can't wait for the mobile Apparently game. Apparently he's the only one that can do. Yeah. Ah! Well, that was, um, that was sad. <laughs> yeah, ah, here we go. Back here again. Oh, please let it happen again. Dang it! Close. Oh, boy. Yeah, just use the rush shot from Mega Man 3. Oh wait. Yeah. Ah! Uh, ah, oh, so sad. Come on, come on, man. Oh, come yes. on, man. Safe state. Yeah. I wish well, I could use safe states in Twin Galaxies. Oh, you're a bush. Use safe states. <laughs> safe states not approved. You use emulation, we don't believe in preserving games. Ronnie, how could you say that? I think he was making fun of me. Oh. I said that to him yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that was just pretty much <laughs> bash said like that. Just Just bashing people that get butt hurt over emulation. It's a, it's a, it's a problem, you see. Well, the problem is, this boss coming up right here, I think it's a dinosaur, oh. I forgot. It's a dragon. Yep. Ooh. Oh, oh wait, yeah. maybe it is a dinosaur. <laughs> uh, he looks, looks like a, his head looks like a dragon, but his body is, yeah, dinosaur-like. Ah, uh, what a great design. Look at all that color. Look at all that detail. Now this is truly pushing the limits. Well, maybe not pushing the limits so much, but I mean, hey, for 1994, NES had to have its graphic capa capabilities pushed to its core. Yeah. Look at these platformer controls right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh oh. You know, it's just so weird that it doesn't move too much. <laughs> it basically just spits out some fireballs, gives you some platforms to shoot from. Oh yeah, well they weren't. It. They didn't spend a lot on the animation department, just the color department. Yeah. yeah. The, the color dinosaur department. Ugh. Oh. Alright. That game is almost as bad as Mega Man 5. <laughs> Here he goes, Dr. Wally's, no, 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 Dr. Wally's dojo. Oh. Dr. Wily's son. <laughs> Dr. Wily's son or Dr. Wily's son? So would Dr. Wily be Mr. Miyagi? I guess not, as we go to Dr. Wily's stage 2. <laughs> Freaking Mega Man 4 enemy. No, that's a, that's a completely. No, he's completely original. That's um, Bob. 
Bob. He used to make him in a four. He's in Test Man stage. I know that. Mm. Nah, you're just. He just looks different. He's animated things. different, but he does the same thing. No, no. Who made some room like that? Dr. Wally. <laughs> oh, hi, room. Grr. You don't get the jet ski. Alright. So you should make it, and we'll put a whole bunch of spuds on the floor, but he can still access the room if he jumps on reappearing platforms. I'm a genius! Yeah. You're a genius, and I'm a Guinness. No genius. Same as plug. Oh boy. The, the track in this castle is not as epic as Mr. X's track. Yeah, but it's still yeah, nice. It seems kind of depressing. Yeah. No. Come on. I don't know. It seems fitting. It's the last Mega Man game on NES. You gotta go out on a on that kind on a note. A disappointing note. <laughs> it's not yeah. disappointing note. It's like a it's like a somber or like I don't know. Yeah. This should have gone out with a bang. We stop the Mega Man Five. All right, let's shoot some robots and everything, and have this very join the music. Yeah. Oh, I'll get no, get away from me. Ah, oh, hey. Yeah. Sure. It's a blaster master. Yeah. When you see a flashing pea, grab it. And shoot the floating pieces. I mean, faces. <laughs> Jeez. Wait. There we go. Thank you, Air oh, Tornado. Damn. All right. Seriously, what were they thinking? Seriously, they really run out of ideas here for the design of the Skull Castle. I guess what else could they do? <laughs> a, uh, a tiki hut. I mean, it's, it's the fifth Skull Castle. Because remember, the first one there was no Skull Castle, just Dr. White's Fortress. But two, three, four, five, and then six. Like, ah, like how many ideas can you come up with for Skull Castle? So I guess they said, let's go with the dojo. Here we go, Dojo Castle. Oh. Oh! Skull Shack. Oh! Damn. Yeah, here we go. Ah. You should just use the, the jetpack. Yeah, but it runs out, <laughs> fall and die. Excuses, excuses. Well, you're facing an excuse. These were from Mega Man 4 as well, weren't they? The turrets? Well, they're from I every video so. game ever made. I think they might have been in Ring Man. <laughs> I'm about to say Rainbow Turret. Man. Uh, Ring, Ring Man stage. Rainbow Man? I want, man. I want Ring Rainbow Man. Stage. Man. You know, that, that stage in Mega Man 4 has the family feud music. As long as we skip all that, it's just what? a boss rush. So let's Oh, come go. on. But that's that's the that's like... Oh, that's we history. Done seen, we done seen the I'm boss battle. I'm cooking out the seal right now. <laughs> you want to see the boss battles again? Boo, cop out. Yes. I actually did complete. That's how I got here. So. Still, still want to have interesting you things to say. You want to see the same redundant thing over and over again. This is a let's play, not a long play. Not that I don't love long plays, but yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't like watching my four-hour barman video? Nope. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Thanks for giving me something I don't need. Yeah. <laughs> he does he does what he can, man. Trying to support his family. Well, I wish he would support me right here in my final battle. He did. Dr. You just weren't good hey, enough. Didn't? I already had full energy. Could have gave me something else. Yeah, you just weren't good enough for him. 
Oh, your face not good enough for him as I fight this giant sh street sweeper. All right, now we're getting into some interesting concepts here for the final boss. Yeah, I forgot what point this was. Oh. I guess that kind of works. Probably the best thing. With Nightman's weapon, I guess the difference is night and day. Day and night. Mm. Alright, that's the first part of the battle. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's next? Hmm, my eat e tanks. What's next? And then after that. Okay, it still works. Okay, now I'm out. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite easy. <laughs> Come on, Pete. Right, just... Beat it. <laughs> just beat it, Pete. Come on, Pete. Pete! What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. I think you got to send on, him at out. At least Pete did something <laughs> in Mega Man 5. Come on. He's getting the like... encouragement. I didn't do nothing. Let me do something here. No, really? You have to press it again to use him. You can't just have him on you and he'll... That's he what I'm doing! Him. Really? No, uh, in Mega Man 5, so. in Mega Man 5, Beat would always detect where he would appear at next and automatically go after him. Right here, just follows you. I don't need him, I'll just use Mega Buster. Pure skill now. I think I have to use the... Tomahawk Chop, whatever it's called, but... I realize that after recording this, I'm just using Mega Buster. <laughs> Oh, we can tell you that now. Yeah. No, it's pre-recorded. Let's scrap the commentary and start over. <laughs> Let's scrap the footage and start over. It's time to flip the script and get this LP over with. Time to flip the bill. Well, we'll recommend people click in their link and, yeah, they can see their strategy instead of ours. Yeah. <laughs> or mine. I don't think that's for business. Get some butthurt fanboys. Oh, you're an no, idiot. Supposed to use a tomahawk. Uh, I think this is the first time you fight Doctor White three times. I think other games is two times. As far as like the final final battle is always like a two part battle, and this one's like three times. As Albert Einstein gets caught behind bars, Doctor Wowie is finally arrested. You got an arm? What? <laughs> What does that say, Dr. Wiley B on Oh, I don't know on? B B all <laughs> some foreign language. Yeah. It's German. What does it say over there, a little gibberish? This ain't no Mike Tyson's <laughs> it's like in prayer or something. If you're blind you can plop you know Yeah. Maybe read it. At least Mike Tyson's punch out you can read the words and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, now here's the staff. Yep, yeah, going through six. all Snowman. the... Uh, yeah. Snowman! Snowman made everything. Snowman! There's a man, eh. Snowman's land. <laughs> younger, Lake Man. His younger relative is in Mega Man X3. Alright. This Royal Master is pretty cool. Okay. Man. Probably the most unique, other than Splash Woman, of all Robot Masters. <laughs> Just because she's a woman. Oh yeah. yeah. Nah, but watch out. We don't need Anita Sarkeesian come after us now. Yeah, cause flame man, we're gonna get flames. Yeah. <laughs> gonna flame this video. Yeah, with I poo man. I poo man. <laughs> oh yeah, help you. Look, take that outside if you gotta do it. Nightman. Probably the weakest Nightman. in this game. Well, now Plantman ought to be. <laughs> I, think, I don't know, I think Plantman is actually a little bit more challenging than Nightman. I mean, the best offense was his defense, was his shield created by Daniel Valley. Daniel. Now Plantman, <laughs> this is the stupidest robot master. <laughs> Probably in the whole series. You got one of the coolest tracks, though. Wait, it's 
wood. Thanks a lot, no Buhuro Hashini. Hashino? How does he know what a good robot master is? Alright. Tatanka Man. I mean, yeah, this one's my favorite. Tomahawk. Yeah, he's pretty sweet. Cheap J Strongbow Man. Yoshinobu Suda. Windman. The other Nintendo Power Contest winner. He's cute. Yeah, he's, he's alright. Isn't he the American? I guess. Yeah, Michael Leader, I think, created him. Sounds sounds American. Let's follow the leader and see who created Windman. Yep, Michael Leader. Yep. Good job, Michael. Yeah, the Mama Man. Or as Kramer from Seinfeld would say, hey, yo mama, or oh, yo yo mama. <laughs> This should make some sound for the Robot Masters, Kramer, man. I don't know if that'd be enough. Can't stand the man. <laughs> yeah. Can't stand ya. Can't stand ya. <laughs> I want a Newman man. So who's, New man. Who's, which one is the music composer? Oh, let me... I'm, it, it, it hasn't already passed, then let me see. I've already passed. Unless Probably. these are just unless these are just like special things for some reason. Wait a minute, my There we go, yeah. yeah, this now these are the turkey. It has to be B. There we go. There, there he is. Yuko Koshiro. Oh, love you. <laughs> love Yuko you, sound composer. Yuko Zena. There was only one test player for the whole game. <laughs> Yeah. That's how it was oh. back then. Didn't he raise his hand and say, hey, this plant man is stupid, can you change it? No! Get back to playing! And that Do is we continue? Yep. And Not on the original Nintendo. Yeah. So that is the end of Mega Man 6. Some of you may remember back in 2008, me and Raven did a review of Mega Man 6, but at the time, I, I recorded it off my DVD player, or DVD recorder, it was Angel's DVD recorder. I was playing from uh, the PS2 version of Mega Man 6, and the review was pretty horrible, because I didn't adjust the volumes right, but also I was using ABS recorder or something, and they had a stupid watermark on there that would appear every five seconds. And so, even though it was, a, I don't know, it was, I know it was a free version, but come on, they had to put the watermark flashing on there every five seconds, so I had to edit around that, so that's where there were like 20,000 jump cuts throughout the entire review every five seconds. And so, that was frustrating, but um, I'm glad that I got to do it again on my channel a while back, and then I got to do it again here. Uh, I think Gen 2 or Wii guy was supposed to originally do this, but something happened, and they never got around to doing it, so I wanted to go ahead and, and do it so we could finish the series here on S2K. Now we did all six games. Yay. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, Mega Man 6 here. I didn't really play it to 2004 when I got the collection for PS2. Great soundtrack um, and cool new concepts in the game, the power-ups Mega Man gets. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, um, it's still Rush, but Rush, you know, Mega Man transforms to Rush or whatever, they become one, and pretty cool uh, power-ups there, where you use the uh, Power Mega Man, then Rush Jet Mega Man, or whatever, and um, they also had, like, fake bosses, which was kind of frustrating, but I guess as to the challenge. Soundtrack is pretty good, controls, the same as any Mega Man game for the NES. Um, as far as challenge, eh, it's kind of challenging, kind of not. Uh, it's definitely not the hardest Mega Man game on NES, and of course, it's predictable once again because oh what a surprise Dr. Wally's the boss not Mr. X I'm sure nobody saw that coming so um, at the time I didn't really care to play Mega Man 6 because it came out around the time Mega Man X did and I only cared to get my hands on Mega Man X so when I was a kid I never played it up until you know, 2004 when I finally got to play it and definitely not a bad Mega Man game um, so that said, I don't know, I might have to give it maybe an 8 out of 10. We got? 
Let's see here. Well, it's Mega Man 6, of course. The I think the only series on the NES that, of course, had an installment go to that number. And, of course, by this point, I mean, originality and, I guess, just surprises with, of course, Dr. Wily being Mr. X. I mean, that's all, like, it's all it's out the window immediately. There's no real anticipation or suspense there at all. But, I mean, for what the sixth installment did, gameplay-wise, yeah, still the same. Jump and shoot, go, beat the Robot Masters. It's still fun. It's still good. Probably, if you really look at it and compare it to the others, it, it might have some of the better, like, stage design of, of uh, all of the games. I mean, even uh, Mr. Uh, Inafune himself said that 6 was his uh, favorite. I forget why, but yeah, he's he said this was his favorite to work on, and I can see why. It's it's a good game, and I thought it was fun. I definitely liked it. And, uh, of course, the soundtrack is the best part, and the always new Shining, like, oh yeah, this is what's different from the other Mega Man games, is that the soundtrack's, you know, got a different composer each time, which is actually quite nice, instead of just having... Like the same for all the games, but uh, yeah, still a good game. I still like it. I would probably give it about a mm, seven out of ten. All right, Star Soldier. Okay, so Mega Man sits. It does a lot of nice improvements over Mega Man Five, in my opinion. Okay, you still got the Abra White Masters. You got the obvious plot that Doctor Wily is masquerading as somebody else. <laughs> He even has, like, a horrible disguise, so we all know who it is. But at least you know why all these eight robots are coming together. It's just not a mishmash of different names that kids threw in a hat and said, All right, this is your new eight robot masters. No, these robots were designed to be the toughest, strongest robots around the world and compete as such. Dr. Whitey, you know... Kidnaps them, manipulates them, and yeah, they're your enemies. So it feels like a world battle, so to speak. Even though it's still the same old Mega Man we know and still love or tolerate. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting too much new here. You're still the same old Mega Man, 8 bit spray, jumping around, shooting. You still got, you know, great music, you know, good graphics. And. It was cool for Nintendo to actually pick up this game and release it in North America because I heard in Europe, yeah, they didn't even get this game. So that was nice of them, but I can also see why people weren't too excited to play this game in 94, especially with the 16-bit Super Nintendo out. And who wants to buy original Nintendo with the same old Mega Man that's still doing the same old stuff? It just doesn't innovate enough. But, hey, if you like Mega Man and you don't like too many changes, this is a good game for you. You still got all the cool power-ups here. You know, I like the actual power-ups compared to something like a Mega Man 5. You know, you got the cool night weapon that has good range to it. Tomahawk has a nice arc. And, yeah, the air weapons, too, they all do their part. So, there's nothing really too wrong I can say with the game. Other than the fact that it still <laughs> retreads of a lot of the same old cliches of the old Mega Man games. And I give it about 71 out of 100. All right. So there you go. That is the end of the Mega Man series for the NES for the SN2K channel. So with that said... Yeah, thank God they did that on Mega Man 5. <laughs> and... So, but you know, at least Mega Man Five didn't have Plant Man for crying out loud. Jeez, Plant Man! I like to plant my fist in his face. It's such the lamest robot master. It's got to be the lamest in the entire series. I can't think of anybody worse. Plant oh. Choo Choo Man. Yeah, he looked stupid, but at least I don't know. Like Plant Man. At least the name Charge Man sounds like uh, Train Man would have been kind of dumb, I guess. Charge Man. They had to make something different. Plant Man. Ugh. Well, it, well, it could have had Flower Man. That would have really been bad. But uh, <laughs> um, I was gonna say, I was gonna say. Now I, we're not promising. Um, most, I'm most likely I'm not gonna do it. But uh, as far as the NES series were done, um, I don't know if anybody on this channel wants to start Mega Man Seven and go on to Mega Man Ten. 
But um, I think a while back, um, we had planned this a long time ago. Um, but like, I think we was, was going to have all ten games on SC2K channel, but then it didn't work out. Um, so we're not going to give anybody's hopes up and say, oh, well, I guess Mega Man 7 is next because it most likely will not be. It might be someday. We just don't know what's going to – I don't know what the next LP is going to be, at least on my end. Hopefully we guy – well, uh, hopefully do some LPs again. I know you've been busy with multi tap and stuff, and <laughs> and J Man's gonna be a while before he does anything. He hasn't done anything in years anyway. Star yeah. Soldier should maybe start some, doing some LPs, but <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean that'd be cool. he's too busy right now. But that'd be cool. If, like uh, my <laughs> Star Soldier can do LPs. I'm, uh, I'm I do this. Let's Plays and all that, but they're mostly born world record attempts. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to talk over my Bomberman footage that's four hours long. Or my new Mega Man or Mega Bomberman world record that's about an hour long. Yeah. Damn. So well, it's Mega Man related because there is Mega Man but Mega Bomberman. Yeah. Bomb Man for Mega Man One? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, so maybe one day we might do seven through ten. On SC2K, um, I know as of right now I'm not going to do it. I'm not sure what my next LP is on SC2K. We we'll have to figure it out later. But yeah, hopefully we can do seven, eight, nine, ten one day. That'd be pretty cool. But as far as the original NES series, we are finished with that. And for those of you who don't know, you can check out my LP of X, X2, and X3 on the SC2K channel that I did back in 2010. And so uh, Star Soldier was in the less discuss of Mega Man X2, where uh, Nasa Sausage made an appearance. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So that said, we are out here. I'm Ron Moore. The wee guy. And the one, the only Star Soldier one, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. God bless. Take care. Bye. See us. <laughs>